This video is sponsored by YouTube Promos. We all know that starting a YouTube channel can be tough, but that's where these guys come in. For seven years, they've been giving new YouTubers the boost that's needed to go big. If you need views, you'll be guaranteed to get them. And on here, some views can get you even more. If you're interested in investing in your channel, simply click the link below for 10% off any promotional package when you use the link youtube-promos.com slash Alyssa. And now, on to the feature presentation. Now while you may know this Quebec native simply as Jonathan Marchessault, his teammates from the minors and even the NHL can recall otherwise. The 27-year-old carried the name Jonathan Audi Marchessault for most of his life and even earned the nickname Jam during the process. But the forward decided to drop the shortest of the two names upon entering his second season with the Columbus Blue Jackets in 2013. And the reasoning behind it? I didn't want our child to have to deal with such a long name, he says. So I decided to drop the Audi part. While I have to say I like the revised name better, it has to suck sharing his current nickname, Marshy, with Brad Marchand. Speaking about Brad Marchand, the Bruins forward and Marchessault have another thing in common, besides nicknames. They're both only 5 feet and 9 inches tall. Therefore, it may seem pretty questionable why a 40 goal scorer had his height held against him and wasn't swept up by a willing team in the NHL draft. But instead of being offered a contract by an NHL team, he was signed by one of the New York Rangers affiliates and the Connecticut Whale currently known as the Hartford Wolfpack. As a result, Marcia Saul would then go on to prove everyone wrong while earning a spot in the big leagues all by himself. Every year I was a surprise. I fuel off people that don't believe, Marcia Saul told Sportsnet. It wasn't the easiest path I had, but it was a different one. I made it here. While growing up, the Quebec City native had the privilege of playing for his home team, the Quebec Ramparts, after being drafted by the club at age 16. And it was there that Marchessault's hockey career would be forever changed, as his coach was none other than Hall of Famer Patrick Waugh. The centerman credits a lot of his current success to the tough love and motivational tactics that his coach taught him, which gave him the mental toughness that was needed to make it to the NHL. As an undrafted 5'9 forward, Marchessault says, to this day, he keeps in touch with Wa, whose son Frederick was even the best man at his wedding. After having to live in a hotel room with his wife and two kids during his first year in Tampa, the Night Star is currently signed to a six-year contract, valued at $30 million. Therefore, he now has the means to enjoy the more finer things in life starting with a car that most would only dream about having in their garage, a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster, which is valued at $545,000, as it's also been decorated with Golden Knights colors all around. I think it's pretty easy to assume that with this getup, the superstar can stay in the spotlight off the ice as well as simply on it. Since Marchessault had to move on a rather short notice, shortly after being chosen by the Vegas Golden Knights, during the 2017 expansion draft, he didn't have much time to prepare or to get his family settled in. But lucky for him, his fellow teammate, David Perron, was in the same situation. The pair reportedly hit it off instantly on a plane ride from Montreal to Vegas, and therefore, the two French Canadians decided to live together while awaiting their family's arrival, while also forming an instant bromance. And it's for good reason. Besides being both from Quebec, the two forwards also share the commonality of playing in the QMJHL, as David Perron played for the St. Jerome Panthers. Therefore, it can easily be said that this is a once-in-a-lifetime bromance that will most likely extend outside of the duo's hockey careers.